ownership guys, the ownership of the Giants have given the okay to Brian Dayball and shown the general manager of the New York football Giants gave them the okay to draft a quarterback in 2024. Currently, guys, the Giants sit at the sixth overall pick. So is it an overreaction or an unreaction that the New York Giants will seriously draft a quarterback at the sixth overall pick? When we look at the New York Giants, they are kind of of a walking dumpster fire. They are kind of, kind, they are a walking dumpster fire. They let Shaquan Barkley walk for nothing, right? They signed Dan, Daniel Jones to a $160 million deal last season. I think it's a five-year, $160 million deal that he signed for. Got hurt week nine. And now they might draft a quarterback. Guys, is it an overreaction or underreaction that Giants will seriously draft a quarterback at sixth overall? Guys, I do not think that the quarterback situation is the issue in New York. In East Rutherford, New Jersey, home of MetLife Stadium, the New York Giants, not the Jets. I don't think the issue is the quarterback. Yes, in 2023, Daniel Jones did get hurt week nine. They were two and six at that particular point. They ultimately did lose the game that he got hurt in. Yes, I know. They finished, what, six and 11 last season. Yes, I know. But let's flash back to 2022. They were nine, seven, and one. They were a playoff team. They beat the Minnesota Vikings in the playoffs in wild card last or in 2022. They ended up playing the eventual representative of the NFC and the Philadelphia Eagles in the divisional round and got. The Kind of got the bait breaks beat beat off. And was it 37 to 6 or 37 to 7? Seven. But in the end, they were just in the playoffs and won a playoff game with Jano Jones as their starting quarterback. Now, ownership did say that they're even willing to move up in the draft if they fall in love with a guy. So if they want some JJ McCarty, if they want them some Jaden Daniels or Caleb Williams, they can move up in the draft. With all that being said, guys, I don't think it's an over. I don't think it is an overreaction. I think the Brian Dayball and the New York Giants have been looking for a reason to get Daniel Jones out of town. They are looking for a reason to bring in their guy. Let's just be honest. Brian Dayball is not, or sorry, Daniel Jones is not Brian Dayball's guy. It is. It is what it is. Brian Dayball's job is probably on the line. 6-11 last season, not very good. Yes, you did make the playoffs. But expectations are kind of higher in New York, right? Let's win us some football games. I do not think it's an overreaction that the, that, the, that, that the New York Giants will draft a quarterback at sixth overall. Hell, it would not shock me if they tried to move up to the number two overall pick. It would not shock me one bit. If Wayne G's theory is right, the commanders move up to number one, Bears slide down to number two. The Giants call the Bears. Swap picks would not shock me one bit. Would not shock me one bit. Well, what do you guys think? Is it an overreaction or underreaction that the Giants could seriously draft a quarterback at this? Wayne G says, Paul isn't wrong. You are a FOS, but I'm curious which take in particular he's talking about. <laughs> I don't know what FOS is, Wayne. Um, I'm not very good good with the with a with the abbreviations. Um, John says Trevor Lawrence wins the Mac Jones versus Trevor Lawrence quarterback battle. WBN says overreaction. They got so many needs. Who knows what 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 position they will draft. If you have so many needs and a quarterback is, quote, a need, right? If you if you are a Daniel Jones fan or not, the point of the, the point of the matter is Daniel Jones hasn't had a lot of weapons around him. There's a reason why Dayball is there now. 
because their previous coach, who was it? Um, oh, guy from the Patriots. Guys, refresh my memory. Well, what was the uh, Giants' old head coach? There's a reason why he's not there anymore because they weren't successful. I don't think Daniel Jones is the problem, but. What do you do with a snake if a snake's bad or full? You cut his head off, right? I, I, I don't I don't know where I was going with that analogy, but Daniel Jones is going to be a cat, actually be a casualty. The next person in New York that needs to be fired is a garbage GM. That is facts. As soon as they let Shaquan Barkley walk, test a free agent mark, and they're not going to be any want you to shake Shay Shaquan. Guy should have been fired on the spot. Shaquan said that he wanted to be a giant for life. You didn't. You, you, you didn't even try to offer him a con, a like a like a contract. Maybe he would have took a two year, eighteen million dollar deal. <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> Jones is trash, says WB Ant. Is he though? Is he though? I, I'm curious to see what, to see what see what the stats say. See what the stats, stats say. I'm at NFLToday.co, guys. Click it on the New York Giants team and going down to Daniel Jones and click it on his career stats. There we go. Scroll down a little bit. <coughs> Excuse me. So Daniel Jones is in his one, two, three, four, fifth year. So these are five years of stats. He's entering in his sixth season. He does have a 60 games played. He has his 64, 64% career completion percentage. He is... 1,221 completions for with uh, 1,900 attempts, 12,000 yards, 62 touchdowns of 40 interceptions. This is a kicker. 